Welcome back to Saturday Night Replay. He goes behind the scenes, he goes backstage, he goes underground, he goes just about everywhere. And he's been into the rooms again tonight. Let's go up to the offices of the Sunday Press. Scott Palmer, good evening. Good evening, Peter. I dare say Kay Sheedy would be rather happy, still in the race for the five. Well, it's us against the rest. That's the slogan he's putting over there at Windy Hill tonight. He believes that uh, there's been too much interest taken in the Bombers by the media and by officialdom. He goes back, he says, uh, they tried to move us from the ground. He said they tried to move this game to the MCG. We've got Terry Danaher in the news. We've got Simon Madden reported on his 300th game. He said, how much pressure can my players take? Well, speaking of players, a lot of injured players, uh, seemingly all of them Melbourne, Scotty. Uh, so John Northey has, uh, well, he's got, he's got more worries, hasn't he? Well, he's got Johnson with a perforated ear and he's got Lyon and Coop both with heavy concussion tonight. And, uh, of course, uh, he knows that uh, next uh, week's the, the crunch day where he has to win. He thought he was right after North beat the Swans at the MCG and put that little situation under control. But uh, Footscray have sort of kept him in it a bit. So Northy said there's no tomorrow. Next week's it. Yes, well, speaking of Footscray, Brian Royal, I understand, was, uh, or has an injured shoulder tonight. How bad is it? That's right, yes. Brian Royal has a shoulder and uh, they're worried about it tonight too because it's going to be a loss if uh, he can't front up next week. St Kilda and Hawthorne. Uh... I, I guess uh, looking at the scores, it was Hawthorne fairly convincingly, but uh, St Kilda, I understand, got pretty close at one stage. Yes, they got with nine points, and there was a, a few niggles between the old combatants, Dermot Breton and Danny Frawley out there. And uh, our boys said that they saw some water transform uh, between uh, the two of them at one stage. Whether it was a spray or whether it was uh, something else, we don't know. But uh, none of the uh, clubs were talking about it tonight, apart from Daryl Baldock, who said that... Uh, if we were to kick straight, he said, particularly in that first quarter, we could have done uh, some damage today. He said, some of the shots we missed, my wife could have kicked them. Geelong and Richmond, uh, the last of four played today. Uh, John Devine, again, happy, but, uh, well, you can't pick the Tigers, can you? No, you can't uh, really sort of knock them because they said at the uh, start of the second half that they're hoping to win more games than they'd lose. Well, they've won six and six now. They have to win next week. But it's unfortunate for John Devine that uh, Damian Burke finished on the uh, interchange bench of the reserves today with a groin injury following his knee injury and following his ankle injury. But John said that he's looking forward to summer training, wants to get him back. So that suggests something down there at Catania Park. OK, Scotty, well, speaking of grounds, we'll see you at Carrara tomorrow. Be coming up with us. See you there, Pete. Keep okay. punching. OK, thanks, Scotty. Keep punching and full details of those stories in the Sunday Press out tomorrow.